It was published 10 years before a shot was fired and was written by a woman. So how did Uncle Tom's Cabin fan the flames of the American Civil War? First published in serial format in 1851, Uncle Tom's Cabin is the story of enslaved man Tom, who saves the life of a young white girl and is purchased by her benevolent father before falling into the hands of a merciless slave owner with dire consequences. The author, Harriet Beecher Stowe, was an outspoken abolitionist from Connecticut who opposed slavery on religious grounds, but also developed a deep personal affinity with the plight of enslaved families following the death of her son from cholera. When the book was released in 1852, it became an instant success, selling 300,000 copies in the first year. Translated into multiple foreign languages, it toured the world as a successful stage play. But it's the impact that it had on a divided America that's perhaps its lasting legacy. For decades, Americans had compromised over the thorny issue of slavery. While some states had voted to abolish the institution, others steadfastly refused. By contributing to the moral debate, Uncle Tom's Cabin hardened opinion on both sides of the divide. Southern reaction to the book was predictably hostile, with one publication actually praising Stowe for widening the breach between North and South. Following the outbreak of Civil War in 1861, President Abraham Lincoln is said to have greeted Stowe with the now famous quote, so you're the little woman who wrote the book that made this great war. So why does it matter? Although Uncle Tom's Cabin was one of several sparks that helped ignite the Civil War, Few books made a greater contribution to the debate surrounding slavery and its eventual abolition in 1865. How can the written word change the course of history? 